I think if anybody believes that there are omnipotent Chinese secret societies, I don't think they are. And everybody knew about the Anglo-Americans being genocidal, you know, going back to this Kissinger Memorandum of 1974 or or the Carter administration. They, now, John D. Rockefeller III has been very, you know, in his lifetime, very adamant about this stuff. So I don't think it makes any particular sense that there is this war of the secret societies. I think this is a kind of a story that I would approach with the greatest care and skepticism because it lends itself to this kind of a false flag scenario. It's a way to popularize that among people and, and confuse Yeah, but we know that Japan is. and uh, China under the feudal system was run by secret hereditary societies, and they are dominant in many areas of life today. And so I think to poo-poo the reality of it uh, is wrong, but also to give it omnipotence, as you said, uh, I think is to overplay something that uh, is if not remember, as... Remember, if, suppose if you had some group saying, you know, we're the new Red Door Society and we're destroying the Internet, then the U.S. could say, all right, that's it. Yeah, we that's another shadowy Goldstein type of, <laughs> of wraith on which all of these other things can be hung like a scarecrow. Right, and it could be like Sarajevo. In other words, the Austrians say to Serbia, give us those criminals. The U.S. could say, okay, China, deliver us the 100 top members of the Red Door Society, okay. and we're going to take care of them. The Chinese have to say no. We're going to come in with a final finish. segment right now. I understand, Webster. Here we go. All right, final segment in Worldwide Transmission. Retransmission starts in T-minus six minutes at one place. Infowars.com. That's where you can always listen to the show. It'll rebroadcast 20 hours, and we're back live tomorrow. Before we jam in a few final calls for Webster Tarbley, I want to tell you about a fine sponsor, a Cola Blue Atmosphere Water Generator for home. Pays for itself within one year if you buy your water from the store. Pure, clean water. Without the fluoride, unlimited water from the humidity in the air, you use a solar panel system to run it or plug it into the wall. Machine produces up to 7.5 gallons in a day in wetter areas, around 3 gallons, uh, at least 2.5 gallons, even in the worst deserts, uh, with the lowest humidity. Just an amazing system, great tasting, pure H2O, exactly the way nature makes it. No chemicals, pollutants, or toxins. Natural pH. Give them a call, 1-866-585-4044. Or check them out at acolablue.com, E-C-O-L-O blue.com, big banner on Infowars.com. 866-585-4044. Okay, uh, let's jam in quickly here. Let's jam in. Jeff in Connecticut, you're on the air. Hi, thanks for taking my call. Uh, first time caller, but a long time listener. I'll be brief since I know you're short on time. Um, this, this relates uh, this does relate to what you've been talking about. I read uh, a link this morning. Uh, it was from the Financial Times of London. It was written by Peter Garnham. And in it, it uh, it's just a couple sentences long. Um, uh, Ulrich uh, Leutman uh, at Commerce Bank said in a note that he expected the dollar to rise, quote, like a phoenix, quote, unquote. And he also said that in a very short period of time, quote, unquote, sentiment turned by 180 degrees. The market now believes that the U.S. economy once again will be able to leave a crisis behind very quickly. But they've said this three times in the last year. It always goes up, and then further down the next time, I hope it goes up and they can artificially do it. But all the real market fundamentals show the dollar has been devalued. They keep printing it. You have this debt, uh, liquidity, hundreds of billions a month being pumped into financial institutions. Uh, Webster, what do you see happening? The main thing you have is a violent contraction of employment and production. Uh, Detroit is collapsing the big three automakers are collapsing. Their subcontractors are collapsing. Uh, and generally speaking, manufacturing employment in this country is really on its last leg. So this contraction, which is expressed in uh, growing unemployment and growing unreported unemployment, those who have given up in despair, uh, we'd have to look at things like freight car loadings and truck loadings, real, tangible, physical economic indices, and you will see that this economy is approaching the point of thermodynamic breakdown. And they're and telling us that, everything's wonderful. And after that, the, the financial panic will happen. They put these stories out. The plunge protection team, of course, as everybody knows, props them up with the help of helicopter Ben Bernanke. They've now got the entire Wall Street, be it J.P. Morgan Chase, Citibank, and Goldman, and Lehman Brothers, and uh, Morgan Stanley, and Merrill, and UBS. All of them are on life support. They're all getting huge injections of Federal Reserve 
liquidity. And the question is, you know, how long before that becomes generalized hyperinflation on the German uh, yeah, we're out of time. We're out of time. We're out of time. Sorry to DJ and Matt. Call back tomorrow. I'll put you up first or next time. Tar, please on. Webster, thank you for spending time with us. His book you, is Adam. Obama, You Bet, The Postmodern Coup, available at Infowars.com. Take care, Webster. Bye-bye. An amazing two-hour, 45-minute interview with Webster Tarpley. I want to tell you that the new film, Fabled Enemies, I just came out with Truth Rising. Well, we're accelerating our info war. Burmese's new film, made right here. I produced it. Fabled Enemies, you can start pre-ordering that Thursday or Friday. It'll be up on the shopping cart to get the DVD first. It ships out September 1st. Wink, wink, maybe a little bit early. It'll be on PrisonPlanet.tv September 1st. Well, guess what? You can watch the first trailer Four Fabled Enemies, Berman's new film, up at the top right-hand corner of PrisonPlanet.com. Please spread that virally. I'm going to announce tomorrow who the winner of the first contest, there's another on the 19th, a bigger one, for the InfoWars PrisonPlanet.com uh, contest. Listen, huge show today. Paul Kirk Roberts, the first of the show. Martial law news in the U.S., out of Arkansas. You'll hear that at the start of the show right now at InfoWars.com.